Real quick, before the video starts, two announcements that I want to make. Number one, the video is going to be long because uh, I just filmed the raw footage of whatever I was feeling at the moment during the exams and before the exams and after the exams. So all the emotions are real and uh, it's just raw. So that's why it's long and you have to make sure everything that I said has a lot of value in it. So make sure you guys take some notes down. Announcement number two, I'm going to be announcing the winners for the probable my thousand subscribers giveaway at the end of the video. So watch till the end to know who won the two free Purple accounts. So without further ado, let's get to the video. What's good YouTube? It's been quite a while and I have been missing in action. But the reason that I have been missing in action is because I have been hitting the books really hard. Today is November the 1st and my PLAB exam is tomorrow. So I just decided to like make a quick vlog and give you guys an update of what I am feeling. Um, of course, the, re the remaining details of how I started studying, when I started studying will be given later, but it's uh, November 1st, my exams are tomorrow, and um, honestly speaking, I feel pretty confident, but at the same time, there are certain questions that keep coming, popping into my head. Like, I keep thinking like, oh, what is this, what is this? Um, I don't know if it's because if I have studied, I've been studying so much for the past so many days or is it because the exams is close by so I'm trying to recall everything. So, um, but overall I feel pretty confident because um, I've been studying really hard for this and I really hope I pass. Uh, I mean, I will pass, that's for sure. Like I, I'm so, I'm, I'm confident. I'm not overconfident but I've given, I'm going to give it my 100%. Uh, so like people get right down their blog I thought of doing a vlog to tell you guys how I feel at this point um, feel pretty confident I think I just have to like relax now take it easy stop thinking about the exams and just like watch a movie or something and then take it from there so um, I'll see you tomorrow probably during the day of the exams let's go So today is the day of the exams. Um, I'm, it's still in the morning. I think my exam is somewhere in the afternoon, somewhere around two o'clock. So I'm just trying to like, I just woke up and I'm trying to not study at all because you know, all the studying has been done guys. Like, and I don't know, the last thing I want to be doing right now is going through my notes or something and then getting myself confused over things that I already know. Because that tends to happen. Like, you know, during exam pressure, people tend to like, get really scared or nervous and then they start going over things and they really mug up. Whatever studying had to be done has been done. All I'm going through right now is this. Um, basically these are like the values that I have to remember. The normal values. Um, just a note, you will be given these values, but I'm just remembering it so that it's going to save me a little bit of time here and there during the exams because, you know, timing is key in the exams. So I'm just going to try and relax, have a good breakfast, maybe watch a movie or something and uh, chill until the time of the exams, get my documents and everything in order. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Studying has been done, so I'm not going to really go through any of them. And uh, let's go smash it. Alrighty, the exam's done. Well, <laughs> what can I say? It was um, interesting. Okay, so let me tell you what exactly happened. Because the whole thing went by so fast that I barely even... And when, when I came to understand that it's done, it was already like the exam had been done. I mean, you understand what I mean? That was t practically the fastest three hours of my life. Like the fastest three hours that I've uh, done during the exams. So a couple of things. Uh, so the first thing is uh, when I went for the exam, I took my passport. Yes, they gave me a mail that I had to take and uh, something else. I made sure I had a water bottle with me and I took a chocolate bar in case I get hypoglycemic just to have the chocolate to feel better. But I didn't really need the chocolate during the exams. Right. So what happens is every time I go for an exam, I have this problem that I need to pee so often. So. <laughs> I don't know, I was thinking of probably in future take a vasopressin uh, to probably like make sure I do not pee during the exams because I don't know, maybe I just get too nervous and then I need to use the washroom pretty often. So I finally got into the exams and that's what I was in my mind because the last thing I wanted to do was get up during the exams and then actually go and uh, go to, you know, use the washroom when that and waste that time because every single minute is very important. So I went in the exam hall, I finally used the washroom, I was in the exam, I sat down and um, yes, 
I was trying to be very calm as possible, trying to do everything uh, that I could. Uh, first thing I realized when I got the paper was right at the back were all the normal values which was needed in the exams. Um, so finally once the examiner started giving, the invigilator started giving the instructions saying that this, 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 what you have to do, make sure you're in the exam condition, blah, blah, blah. Finally, she says, you can start the exam. So that dreading moment when suddenly everything just freezes, like, you know, like your heart stops for a minute, or maybe sometimes it just goes tachycardic because you're just beginning to do the exams. So of course, the first few questions were, uh, first few questions personally for me are the ones which are the most difficult because you're so much into the exam stress, like the first few questions seem to be difficult or not difficult, I don't know. It wasn't difficult, but one thing I was glad to see was uh, the 1700s. Yes, the 1700s. Guys, like I saw so many questions from 1700s and it was so refreshing to see questions that I've seen before. So I just was like, oh yeah, I knew the answer to this, this. So that's how I slowly eased into the exams. Five minutes into the exams and I was bawling. Like I was going really, really good. My goal was, I kept an eye on my time. So my goal was by the time I'm done with one hour, I should have at least finished 80 questions. Well, I did not get to 80, I was at 75, but I was still going good. Because if you put 80 questions for one hour, it's within three hours, you finish 240 questions. Technically, but sometimes if you slow down, you're still all right with the time. Some questions were easy, so you would just answer like that. All of them were like 1,700 questions. Uh, and uh, I basically did not even drink water just to make sure like in case I had to wee, I didn't want to use lose the time. The chocolate bar also was right on the corner just in case, but I didn't use it. So the whole time I was making sure I answered the questions. At first I was leaving some of the questions blank, some questions did I did that I did not know. I had no, not, I, I was confused about, I was leaving it blank, but then I was like, I should at least try to mark something because what if I run out of time at the end? And if I answered one, there is at least a 20% chance that I actually got it right. Other than if I came at the end and if I did not answer anything, then that's, there's a zero percent. So might as well mark something. So I made sure I marked all the questions, uh, even the ones that I had a doubt. I wrote the questions on the side to make sure I come back and check if I have the time. But I tried to give the, give the best answer possible. Uh, three hours went by so fast. Like, you know, like, I was literally like flying. Like every question was happening so quickly. And finally it was like, I came to question number 200. And I was like, yes, I've done it. Finish the question. And then I had still 10 minutes to spare. So in that 10 minutes, I basically made sure if everything has been answered and uh, if I left any blanks, went back to see any questions. And that was it. And the moment the exam was done, I was like, okay, I was like, it's done. Like, cause it didn't feel like it. Cause I've been studying for these exams for the past, I don't know, God knows, six months or more. Like I've been really at it for a while. So. Finally, when it was done, I was like, huh, it's done now. So uh, yeah, the exam's finally done. And uh, overall, I feel that I did really good. Like it, there were questions that were difficult. Like there were certain questions where I would da boil down to like the last two answers. Like it's option A, option B, because I would, uh, what do you call, cross out the, the remaining three because they're definitely not the answer. And uh, that's where it became a difficult. So it's like, it's either this or it's either that. So it got a little bit difficult. But overall, it was great. Um, I think now it's just time to just relax because, you know, I've been really at it now. So I'm just going to relax for a bit. I'm not even thinking of like going and checking out the answers because it's not going to give anything to me. I mean, if I got it right, it's great. But if I didn't, it's just going to make my mood spoiled up. What's done is done. You can't change anything. So. Uh, that was that and the exam's done for now and uh, I think I have to wait for six weeks for the results to come. So let's just wait. Um, I just made sure I vlog this so you guys have an idea of what went through the entire exam. So hopefully you guys are gonna have do the same thing. So I'll talk to you later, probably six weeks from now when I get the results, probably. Let's go. Okay, so it's 12.30 my time. Uh, the results come out like 2.30 or 3.30. That's the time that's in UK. And uh, I just can't wait, man. 
like this has been the longest three hours of my life. Mm. I'm just trying to watch movies to like kill time, but yeah, let's see. <laughs> So far from the launch, I know it's impressive. <laughs> okay, so the wait has been so long. It's 9:40 right now in the UK, and the time that they, they said that it's going to be between 9:30 and 10:30. So I'm just going to go check mine. Still not out yet. I don't know how long I can take this. Ah! Okay, I'm finally in. Okay, this is the time. You can tell it's not joking. I really was so tensed up. But if you found out from my reaction, <laughs> I passed the plan one test. Woo! That was such a tension time. Oh God. Winners have been picked and the first winner for the probable giveaway is Prithvi Pokhral. I don't know if I'm saying the name right. I'll be messaging you with the probable account. And the second winner is uh, Susanayagam Vipin. You're the second winner man. I'm going to be sending you an email with the probable account as well. Congratulations for your wins. And for you, those who guys who did not win, I'm definitely going to have more giveaways in the future. So stay tuned for that. But if you guys already know or you do not know, Plubbable is a great, great platform for you to use to study for Plub 1. If you haven't subscribed to it already, make sure you click in the link in the description below and uh, get a Plubbable account. It's going to really help you to study for your Plub exams. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Peace.